Hi, I'm Kelly Stewart. I am an actress um, from Philadelphia. And you might know me from a movie called Guess Who, where I played Keisha, who was the daughter to Bernie Mac. And now I have a new television series coming out called My Boys on TBS. My Boys is it's a comedy. It's about a girl who is a tomboy, played by Jordana Spiro. She's a female sports writer that lives in Chicago. And she kind of has what every girl wants, which is five best friends that are guys. <laughs> and I play her best and only girlfriend, Stephanie, who's a girly girl, kind of has the girl rule, um, always trying to find the right man, which is very much like me. <laughs> so I guess I was pretty much typecast. Anyway, I realized that all my anxiety is really coming from my relationship with Adam and that there's just something that I've been avoiding that I think I have to finally face. What? You know. What? Sex. You haven't had sex yet? <sighs> Sorry. I started off acting, you know, just doing plays in elementary school, middle school, high school, and knew from the very start that that's really what I wanted to do. Then I did a little training at Freedom Theater in here in Philadelphia, and I taught actually at the summers um, at Freedom Theater as well, the little six-year-olds. Then I went to SUNY Purchase, a conservatory for acting. I trained there for four years and got my Bachelor in Fine Arts. After that, I left and went to New York City to live, and I lived in Brooklyn, and I did some theater, did the Law and Order thing, you know, did the soap opera thing became a modeling agent, actually, so that I could gain some perspective on casting. And I mainly learned not to take things personal. Um, it's a business, and, and when you put your heart and soul out there as an actor, and somebody tells you no, uh, thank you very much for that heart and soul, but we're not gonna hire you, it hurts. And I needed to learn how to not take that personally. After that, I um, decided it was time to go to LA. It was time to make it happen. It was kind of a now or never thing. I went to LA and at the time my parents were generous enough to give me 30 days in a hotel. And they said, make it happen. And on day 27, I was hired in a pilot called Living with Fran with Fran Drescher. I think it's really important to do the New York first. And the reason I say that is because New York is where the stage is at. And I'm, you know, I know that Philly is really coming up in that area. Um, so it's also good here. But in New York, when you do the stage, you don't get a take two or take three the way you do on TV or film. You just have to go with it and you have to make it excellent. So it forces you to be a perfectionist because every night is a new audience and some might like it and some might not. And you need to be able to, have the, you need to, be able to take the good with the bad. And I learned that mostly from stage. And then you can translate that onto the big screen or onto the small screen in television even though they'll be able to say cut, can I take that back? You still have to be a professional and they will not hire you unless you are excellent. Everybody in New York, everybody in Los Angeles is good, but good is not good enough. You have to strive to be excellent. You have to strive to be great because the person that goes in that room before you is gonna be good. Chances are if they got the audition that they're good. But you have to be great. You have to be unforgettable. And you have to walk out of that room knowing they're going to be lucky to get you. And that takes an immense amount of confidence and training and skill. I think when you're young and you're just starting out, um, to take jobs that are given to you that don't compromise your integrity are fine because you're going to learn from them. As you start to progress and build an image in this industry, if this is really what you want to do and you kind of see the glass ceiling, meaning you know, the sky is the limit for you, um, then I think you can be more selective and I think you have to be more selective because um, people could tell me to play you know, a, a crackhead for the next 10 movies and do I really want to put that image out there all the time? And you know, that's a personal decision for me and it's a personal decision for any actor, so I think as you're starting out, to try to get as much work as you can, as long as it doesn't compromise your integrity. If you don't want to do nudity, don't do nudity. But um, as you start to gain a little notoriety, be selective because you're good enough to be selective. Oh, can we just mark this moment, the day that you listen to my advice? Yes, you've worn me down. Whenever you're on the journey of doing what you really want to do, you have to know there's going to be difficulties ahead of you. Nothing that you really want is going to come easily. 
So I think it's about maintaining that goal and maintaining that focus and doing something every day to advance yourself in that career. Even if that's sending out a headshot, writing a letter, making your own short film and sending it to a bunch of agents that you respect and that you know are franchise agencies. Whatever you need to do to get your image and your work and your word out there, you need to do. But if you're not doing something every day to contribute to that, then you might not get it back and you have nobody to blame but yourself. Life is very short. You don't know tomorrow if you're gonna make it through the day. So if it's what you love, do it and do it well. Do it with excellence so that you can go to sleep at night knowing I contributed to my life. And me as an actor, this is always what I wanted to do. There was never a question. If you look at my high school yearbook from Norristown High School, I think I said, remember this face, you'll see it in lights one day.